All right, everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome along back to a brand new video. And today we've got an interesting one because we're here at the Highland Wildlife Park where there are some really cool animals. That I'm gonna to talk to you today about a little bit because some of these could be up for reintroduction into the UK. Some of them, maybe not so much, but I'm gonna show you them anyway and talk about them because it could be cool because they used to be here. And I think, you know what? Let's get them back anyway. You right? Yeah. yeah, so today the weather isn't exactly the best, but that's Scotland for you. You don't always get what you want up here, no. And the first animal on this list is going to be this fella, the lynx. Now the lynx used to roam the UK about a thousand years ago. It's a fantastic looking animal. And I can actually see this one in here licking its paw, looking like a right cutie. Animals like this would be an apex predator in the UK. Like nothing here is gonna be predating it, but maybe later on in the video, there might be something that would predate it. As it currently stands, no. And these actually, the Eurasian lynx, are like next in line to be reintroduced back into the UK and I really think we should. So as you guys are probably aware watching this video, the problem we've got in this country is there's, there's too many deer and we're having to manage that ourselves by like culling them and shooting them or whatever. But if we get a lynx back or a few lynx back, they'll do that themselves because their favorite prey is like reindeer, roe deer and small red deer and then a whole host of other small mammals as well and even foxes which obviously there's quite a lot of now because we don't have an apex predator but the main thing about this right is the ecology of fear and you probably hear this a lot when talking about lynx or any other sort of apex predator the ecology of fear puts fear in animals so they don't stay in one spot for a long time overgrazing and obviously in the uk with deer that's the biggest problem is the overgrazing but if they know there's an apex predator here they're gonna have to keep moving. So for me, I see no real reason why the lynx shouldn't be back. What are you looking at? Snow leopard. Snow leopard. Not sure we'll uh, get them in the UK anytime soon, but what a wicked animal, so cool. And there's a couple of them up on this hill playing together, so it's really cute to watch. And because we're right next to the lynx and the snow leopard, in between them is the eagle owl and another fantastic animal that we're gonna talk about right now. So the eagle owl is an absolute beast of a bird. It's just a wicked, wicked sight. And do you know what? There's actually some eagle owls already in the UK. Now, as you can see by this, the eagle owl is found throughout Europe and parts of Asia as well. And it's the biggest owl in the world. It's a really, really cool looking thing. And it was native to Britain up until the 18th century. And then it was made extinct through reasons I'm sure you can guess, hunting and persecution. Some eagle owls are actually in the UK, sort of sloped off, you wouldn't really see them, but they usually come over from Europe on the Eastern side. So Norfolk is usually a key place where these eagle owls do come over. And if we had to put a number on it in the country, right now there's probably less than 20 eagle owls here but still a really cool animal and one i think should be up for reintroduction to this country officially now eagle owls are wicked predators they will take anything just anything that moves just a, a really really cool proper predator a wicked animal and we should have more of these in the country how cool would that be look at these cool little things nibbling some grass wag one madrilla yeah, i like their little goatee beards they're really cool looking aren't they? Do you like these? Yeah. For those that don't know, this is a Turkmenian macho. They're endangered, and you can only find them in Afghanistan and China on the borders there. So yeah, really quite a rare animal. Cool looking as well, rate it. So the Highland Wildlife Park is set like in the middle of the Cairngorms. Um, so weather usually isn't the best. Actually, as it goes, there's a bit of blue sky up there, right? Yeah, look at that. But it's a really beautiful area of the world and we, Katie and I, love coming up here. It's so, so cool. And this place in itself, the Highland Wildlife Park, it's just a wicked, it's just a wicked area. Now we're gonna get onto the next one in a minute, but before then we've got this. The Scottish Wildcat. Now these are really endangered in the country. About 30 to 50 of them left, which is really sad. There he is, right up there. Now would you look at this? That right there above me is a Scottish wildcat. One of the rarest animals in the UK. Wicked. Here at the Highland Wildlife Park, they've actually had a few kittens in the past few years and they're trying to build up a bit more of a genetic pool of diversity so that they can get these animals to breed them back into the wild because the population out in Scotland is, it's not looking good 
and they keep hybridizing with domestic cats, which is a real big problem. Now, while this does just look like a tabby cat, it's bigger, it's badder, and it's more ferocious. Love them. Scottish wildcats, wicked. We need more of them. Just spoke to one of the zookeepers that told me about the Scottish wildcat and that they've actually got some plan to release into the wild next year. How wicked is that? Look at what we have here. Now these are some of my favorite animals on the entire planet. They're just wicked. I absolutely love them. And if you're asking me, I would get these back into the UK. But there's obviously gonna be some sort of pushback for these animals back into the UK because if there's anything that's gonna eat livestock, it's these guys. Now these wolves are another thing that provide the ecology of fear. If prey know that these are about, they're not gonna stay in the same spot. It would be silly to do that. So they have to be on the move. Wolves are just a fantastic thing. Another keystone species and another thing I just think, oh, they're amazing. Now, if you guys haven't seen it already, check out the YouTube video, How Wolves Change Rivers, and it'll give you a fascinating insight into how useful these guys really are. Now, something like a wolf would eat quite a lot of stuff, can't lie to you. In this country, their targets would obviously be deer. Roe deer, red deer, seeker deer, any sort of deer they can get their teeth into. One of the big problems as well up here is it could be reindeer. So if you guys haven't seen one of my previous videos, you'll know that there are some reindeer in the Cairngorms. And one of the big problems about having wolves back is if they find out there are reindeer, like this guy, knocking about up in the Cairngorms, that's easy pickings for them. Now in terms of like habitat for wolves, they will go anywhere. They are not bothered. Woodland, open plains, anywhere. And they travel quite far as well, but still, a wicked animal and something I would love back in the country because a couple of other animals that are here that I'm gonna to talk to you about, they could prey on those as well. Look at you, you absolute stunner. My goodness me. Now I'm almost certain you guys won't be able to see it, but right there is another animal on this list. And we'll get to that later in the video because it's a class one. But look at this. Oof. That's Scotland, baby. Baby. Little Russian lady. Should we get some of them in the UK? Yeah. I mean, polar bears are wicked. They're just, uh, uh, what an unbelievably cool animal. Don't think we want them in the UK though, do we? Because that would be, that would be carnage. What's the old saying about bears? If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lie down. If it's white, good night. Uh, you might be able to see a thing there, which is a pheasant. Look, he's, he's playing cat and mouse with me right now. There he is. So that's a pheasant. Now, you all know we have pheasants in this country. Shouldn't be here, but they've been put here to be shot at. But there are some really interesting pheasants in the country called golden pheasants, and they are wicked looking. And hopefully for an animal anomalies going forward, we will try and find some. So stay tuned for that. And we seem to have stopped off at one of the cutest animals the world has ever seen. The Arctic foxes. They are just unreal to look at. Absolutely beautiful things. Wow, oh, that's, that's flipping terrifying that japanese macaques and that Now, believe it or not, cranes are actually in the UK already. The Norfolk Broads is probably your best bet if you want to go and try and see one. Maybe we'll do that for a video one day. But yeah, these things are wicked. Look at them. They make a really cool sound as well. It's like a trumpet, like an elephant. Imagine an elephant. Sounds similar to these. Really, really cool. So the Amma tiger is also known as the Siberian tiger, or once was anyway. But oh, wicked, proper, proper wicked animal so big it's the largest of the tigers now these guys are one of the rarest tigers in the world i think in the wild there's probably between 50 and a thousand of them left in the siberian forest or the ammo region which is a real shame because they're so cool to look at look at that the siberian tiger the ammo tiger what a ferocious beast just down there look at the size of it I'd take that in a fight. There ain't no way, son. No way I'm losing that fight, but that's. Right, so now we've seen some really cool animals in the park, we're actually gonna head over to the car and drive around to see if we can find the other animals that I need to talk about that are on this list because they're wicked. They're proper, proper cool. Whoa. 
Look at that. So to the European watchers of this video, these are elk. And to the North American viewers of this video, these are moose. I probably know them as moose as well, but these are the next animal on the list and they are wicked. Now you can see right here, they're eating pine. And obviously around this area in Scotland, there's a lot of pine trees. So these would fit in really easily, I would say. They're herbivores and they'll eat stuff that's on land as well as stuff that's in rivers and lakes as well. But they would also help other things as well. Now, in this video, I've talked about the gray wolf and gray wolf would hunt these. I don't know, I just feel like if we had these fully wild in the country, in Scotland, in England, Wales, whatever, probably up here in Scotland, I would definitely come to try and find these in the wild. They are wicked. Could do wonders for ecotourism. And just imagine knowing you're sharing a Caledonian pine forest with moose. Sick. Get them back. Now the next animal on this list is this big fella right here. This is the European bison. And as well, these are absolute units. You may have heard about the reintroduction down in Kent. Some of these bison from this place were taken down there and reintroduced into an area of land which is fenced off so they could be studied to see how they get on down there. The project is starting off small and recently they've actually had a baby as well which is really really cute and eventually more bison will be added and their area will expand but it's really interesting to see how they get on. Ecologically these are classed as a keystone species and I think we should get them back like the moose as well. I'm just like just just get them back here get them back in the cairngorms anywhere up here it's got a pine forest these guys are going to absolutely love it they're also classed as ecosystem engineers as well because they will chop down trees they sort of rub against them knock them down it opens light into the canopy of a forest and these dead trees over time insects will love it and that gives food to everything else what do you guys think though european bison back in scotland roaming wild and free That'd be pretty sick, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's going to do it here at the Highland Wildlife Park in the Cairngorms in Scotland. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash a like on it and also comment in the comment section down below. Do you want to see these animals back in the UK? Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, that's going to be it. I'll see you in the next one. Check out the website. Links in the description. Nice one. Bizzle.